Okay, welcome back. This is a quick tutorial to show you once you have a vocal track that you're happy with through the whole song recorded, this is how to add effects and liven it up a little bit because it's going to be a dry track as you sing through it. So open up Mixcraft again. Um, you don't have to worry about sound setup again here like I, I did. It should already be there because you were just recording. Um, so let's say this is your vocal track. I'm just going to move it around. You can grab it with the mouse, left click, move it all around to wherever you want. So if you're adding effects or different voice parts, you can stick it in anywhere you want. For right now, this is just a girl that I have recorded of music. Okay, so you hear that's just a dry track. So if I want to add effects to it, like some reverb and delay, and give it a little more kick to it, I would click this little button here that says Effects. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me move it on a different track, because that one I already did. So I would click this little box that says Effects. It says Edit Track Effects. Open it up. It'll bring up this box, which says Effect List. It's pretty cool right here. So here's all your effects. See this little drop down? It's basically all Windows based. Click that. And Acousta effects are the effects that come loaded with it when you have Mixed Craft. VST effects are just add ons. They're just more advanced effects of the top ones. So we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to add a little reverb. So click reverb. See how it drops reverb into the effects box? Now you can click edit. And this works kind of like a guitar player's pedal rack. Uh, the sliders give you more or less reverb. Uh, see, reverbation, low and high, from 0 to 100 is more or less. Or, if you select preset right here, there's all different presets to choose from. So, for right now, I'll just close this out. That little box means it's highlight. I mean, that little checked box means that's the effect you have going on. You can have more than one. You just keep adding. But let's just keep it simple right now. So now let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, you can hear a little more reverb in that one. I'm going to add a little bit more. Go up to 50%. Okay. You could hear the differences. So if you sang your parts and you want to add reverb and delay, that's how you do it. Um, I'm just going to change the reverb to delay, just to show you what the delay does. Same thing. Click that. Have that open, so you can change it. You can hear the reverb. Uh, raising it or lowering it is more or less faster or slower. Okay. Anytime you want to change an effect, you can just open the box back up. So if I want to take that out and I want to put in hmm, a chorus, I don't know what the presets are because I don't use chorus, but let's see what two voices sounds like. Gives a little bit of chorus effect. Um, basically, that's it with that one. If you want to use the more exotic ones, like if you use classic reverb, I'll show you what that looks like. Obviously, that's got more parameters. Uh, all you have to do is just sing. And just play with the dials. This one has a lot more um, presets, vocal, ambient. Let's see what that sounds like. And then if you want to see... I don't know. Let's check off small church. So you can hear the difference. It's pretty good. Real good stuff. So just picture that if my music track was here and you had a vocal track throughout the length of the song, uh, that's how you do it. Uh, so you can add reverb that way. Oh, you with me so far? It's pretty easy stuff. Um... This button right here, I don't really use that button. <laughs> this button right here is left or right and center. So if you want to have a voice come in on the left and then exit on the right, you could always 
put one left here, put right here. And if you right click on the track, you can click copy. And you would have to just line it up with that. This lines up your tracks. Click paste. And now you'll have a track going left and right. It gives it a nice full effect. Um, and that's pretty much it for adding effects. So all you have to do is just go here and basically just play around with anything to you like what you hear. There's an EQ. And there's all presets for those as well. Vocal presence boost. You know. Um, the next the next tutorial I'm gonna do is how to save and copy your project file before we mix down. Thank you.